To achieve your goals in life, you have to make the hard decisions. Good morning, happy Friday. We made it through another week. Grab your coffee and let's kick off the day on the right foot as always. We are wrapping up October and tomorrow is Halloween. Hopefully you are all ready for Halloween. We are doing something special in the house for our son since we're not going trick-or-treating this year. All right, so today we're going to talk about to achieve your goals, you have to make the hard decisions. When we do goal planning and we set the goals we want to achieve in life, in our careers, a lot of us write down a number of goals. Maybe we have two, three, four, or five goals, sometimes even more goals. It is extremely difficult to focus on more than two to three projects or goals at a time and to make consistent and efficient progress on all of them. This is why a lot of productivity and agile project management tools have functions to limit the active projects or the work in progress tasks each person or team is working on. And something I'm specifically talking about here is like the Kanban framework that, and, and also the general flow state of our brains. These work in progress limitations should be hard limits. Now, we don't make hard decisions to achieve our goals. It doesn't happen as often as we like to say it does. Let's say I have five projects that I'm trying to complete this week or this month. Let's say each of these projects is going to take me roughly 40 hours to complete. Next week, in my eight hour roughly day, right, I can only dedicate one hour to each of these projects. So that's five hours in a day. The rest of my eight hour day, those three hours that I have left are dedicated to the other things going on like administrative tasks, learning something new, or other specific project meetings or non-project non meetings that, that I may get invited into that happens all the time. We have to plan for the unexpected. By the end of the week next week, I am literally only spending five hours on each of these five projects. Now, if we do the math real quick, Again, those were 40 hours to complete those projects. It is now going to take eight weeks for me to complete those five projects. Assuming, again, that I can consistently dedicate those five hours every week to work on each of those projects. Now, something else to note, and I think it's important to call this out, right? It is not an easy task to jump between five different projects within a given day. Our brains, our minds, have what is, have what is called as a flow state where we are on a roll with a specific task. Uh, there, there's usually a ramp up time to get into this flow state, which is different depending on the topics and the situations we are all in and our experiences. But then once you're in that flow state, you hit that kind of, that, that you're doing it. You're in the motions. You're, you're literally working as effective as, and as efficiently as you can, because your brain and your mind up here are in that mindset. You're doing it. Now, what happens when we have to transition from that flow state after one hour to another project? We literally interrupt that active flow state that we were in. Now we have to ramp up on another task, another project. We have to get, get all the way back into that flow state again on that new project. To say the least, this is extremely inefficient. The hard decision here, that hard decision here is to limit yourself to those two active projects, preferably one active project until that project is in a state where you cannot make any additional progress. And some of these tools, we call that a waiting state. Then and only then can you divert your focus on another project. Now that sounds a lot easier than it actually is. And there's things that we can do to accomplish that, but not always. But what happens when we follow this process? If I never had to wait on anyone else for project one, I would have it completed within two weeks. Again, that was five hours every day for two weeks. That would get me that 40 hours of work. I would complete that project in two weeks instead of the original eight weeks in that first example. And I wanna make that clear, this is a huge takeaway. We just decreased the timeline of that project. We literally made that project last two weeks and it was supposed to last eight weeks. So I think the math there is that we actually decreased the timeline by 75%, something like that. In most cases, we do not make these hard decisions though. We do not set say, hey, yo, I can only have two active projects. I can't do five active projects or 10 active projects. So what do you do when you're in a situation like this? So if you're in this situation, there are a couple things I do. 
to mitigate all of this. But again, the underlying root problem here is that this is not a preferred situation for our, ourselves to be in. Five or more active projects are way too many projects to, for anyone to handle at one time. So what do I do, right? If I have a choice, if I have no choice but to allow these five active projects into my my you know active state, my flow state, then I prefer to work on like tasks on specific days of the week. For example, as always, right, Mondays are normally my writing days. Now I say writing, but that's writing, outlining, brainstorming. Um, those are usually my Mondays are usually those days. I dedicate Mondays to doing that type of work. So what does that mean? Each project I am working on might have different requirements, different aspects, but they usually all have some form of writing, some form of brainstorming or outlining involved. Allowing my brain to get into the flow state of writing on Mondays allows me to be extremely effective and efficient. And as always, I'm giving you an example. And this past Monday, um, for the Zigbits brand, my brand, I outlined 10 podcast episodes, five YouTube videos, an emails new newsletter for October, two blog posts, and I wrote two podcast blog show uh, notes, the show notes themselves. All of this before 9 a.m., by the way. I did it from 4 a.m. until 9 a.m., so five hours. I got all that done in five hours because it's the same flow state. In addition, on the same day, during my day job time frame, I outlined and wrote three deep technical architecture related documents, all of them more than 40 pages long with diagrams, etc. So there's an example, just to give you an idea of how we could, if we could attack something like this. If we have so many active projects, we split them up into light tasks and we dedicate certain days to doing those light tasks. Of course, in this example, I am writing about different topics my focus is on writing, it is on outlining, not on meetings or phone calls, not solving other problems or presenting to anyone within the company or to customers. I am focusing and prioritizing on my specific flow state at that time, which is writing. Today's show is a little bittersweet. I have to make a hard decision today. And, and honestly, I, and actually, truthfully, I've already made it, but now I'm telling you, I have way too many active projects. I'm the kind of person where I have a lot of great ideas, a lot of good ideas, and I like to run with them. When I do this, it affects the other projects on my plate, the other items I'm working on, the other goals I have um, on my, set, my goal list that I'm trying to achieve this year. I have to make the hard decision today to put some of these good ideas, these, good, these idea projects or whatever you want to terminize them on, on the back burner for a bit. This show, my daily Zigbits to you, it's one of the projects I need to pause for a bit. This isn't something I specifically want to do. I'm truly loving these videos, coming up with the content, sharing my experiences with all of you. I believe people are finding these extremely helpful. And if you do, I would love to hear about it. I sincerely would love the feedback. And just to be truly transparent, as always, I don't want to do this. I don't want to put this on the back burner, but I really have to. I am not making the level of progress on my top two active projects that I should be making progress on consistently. By making this hard decision, I am making space, time, so that I can get these other projects completed sooner rather than later. And the, in the example I just used above, or not above because it's not really above, it's um, earlier? Yeah, earlier. So the example I used earlier, you can see the impact of making a hard decision like this has on productivity, efficiency, and effectiveness of your top projects. So I think you can understand the reason behind this. I hope you understand it. And, and again, it's a hard decision, but I have to make it. I hope these 20 daily Zigbits, yes, today's number 20. I hope these 20 daily Zigbits have sincerely helped you. It's been a lot of fun over the last four weeks, and I can't wait to get back to doing these um, every weekday in the future. So today's action, I'm not going to leave without an action for you to take, as always. So today's action, I actually have two. Number one, make the hard decisions. There is no easy button in life. The hard decisions are the choices that directly get you closer to your goals. Remember this and make the hard decision every day. And it's not one hard decision. Make the hard decisions every day. All right, number two, action number two, if you have the time, and you like these daily zigbits, let me know. It's that simple. 
add a comment below, email me at zig at zigbits.tech, or send me some sort of direct message DM on any of the socials, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, or on the group chats that we may be in together. I'm in a whole bunch of Slack groups and Discord channels. Now, when you send me a message, if you decide to do so, right, there's no requirement to do so, of course, but if you send me a message, I would love to know which specific Zigbit, Zigbit, oh, I can't talk today, which specific Zigbit was your favorite and how it impacted your life. I'm here to help you as always. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Don't forget to attack your goals. Attack the day. Make progress. And I will see you when I see you. Goodbye for now.